So one of the most amusing habits that we as human beings tend to develop is this tendency to have preloaded responses to life, reality, and the world all around us. For example, if somebody says something like, oh, I don't like this movie, perhaps a movie that you really like, you'll have this preloaded response that may be, eh, you know, negatively reactive with anger, or if somebody says something about being anti-vaccine or being Republican or being socialist, you may have these preloaded responses because you have all these connotations and history behind what you believe these things to be. And the danger in having these shortcuts, these already established versions of reality is it has us fixed in a point where we're constantly responding from the past. So we're no longer listening attentively with curiosity and empathy to understand our counterparts, which creates this world where everything that we're doing is just a reaction based upon the past, no longer based in intention or you know, with a goal to evolve into a better version of ourselves. So the reason this is particularly dangerous is because it has us viewing our counterparts as you know, villains as individuals, walls trying to <laughs> dismantle that which we believe. And I personally believe that that creates division and divisive rhetoric where we're not even trying to understand the people around us. We'll be interrupting them, just thinking about what we're going to say next and never truly understanding the people that we don't agree with. Which, in this world of you know, mistrust and fear and just divisiveness, can be problematic. Because without connection and you know, belief in our fellow man, how are we ever going to actually evolve humanity to the next stage? How are we going to bypass all the conflicts that we're constantly perpetuating? That's why I believe civility and forgiveness and kindness should take precedence over us being right. Especially because the rightness that we believe is right is more often an opinion, a subjective opinion, than an absolute truth. But we don't talk about it like that. Because we go out to the internet and find facts that confirm our beliefs. And when you're people from every single walk of life doing that, then you're just living in this... Uh, hyper-normalized reality where nothing feels real anymore and trust is just gone completely. So, try to listen to your counterparts, your friends, your family. Try to genuinely understand their position and you may find your life a little bit less anxious because you don't need to prove you're right. Especially if you genuinely believe what you believe and you would never actually become particularly defensive about it. So, that's my personal opinion. Thanks for tuning in. Doodles.